Hello, my name is Neil Webb Levins. Welcome to Mysteries and Histories. Uh, in this episode here, what we're going to do is we're going to talk about the rifles used in a JFK assassination. Now, you know, the reason why I'm making this video is because someone asked in a comment, you know, what type of rifles that these assassins used from these different locations. Okay, but you want to watch this entire video because at the end of this video, I'm going to start talking about something that actually matches my research and it's very interesting and it really gives you something to think about but anyway starting off you know he asked me about you know what type of rifles that these assassins used okay now it's not clearly i cannot say exactly what type of rifles that these gunmen used because as you see the images of the gunmen Okay, it's not giving us specific details on, you know, the design of the rifle or anything else, you know, but we can figure out this. By the time frames, as you see, that I've done on the JFK assassination, in the order of the uh, shots was fired that day, and then we base it on location of the gun and stuff like that, we can determine that some of the assassins did use a bolt action rifle, and some of the assassins used automatic rifles like the gunman on the rooftop of the county records building okay now he used an automatic rifle by taking one shots right up the other without aiming and reloading so he could just sit there and go bang 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 you know because he took five shots that day now the gunman on the second floor of the county records building he would uh he had 14 seconds in between all his shots so you know he only took four shots that day so he could have used a bolt action rifle, okay? Same as uh, the two gunmen in shelter number three, you know, they took one shot each. So it might've been a bolt action rifle or it could have been an automatic, you know, like I said, cause he only took one shot each. Now Oswald used a bolt action rifle cause he had six seconds in between both of his shots that he took. So we know he used a bolt action rifle. Like I said, it's hard to determine what rifle they used but we could base on some of the information that we see in the films and images of what type of rifle that was being used to be fired, like a bolt action or automatic rifle. Okay. But as to make and a model, it's hard to determine because there's no clear photos of them rifles or anything. But we also have to think about this too. If there was a man that they placed on the corner of Elm and uh, Houston Street there, I say, hey, look up here on the sixth floor, point in Oswald's direction on the sixth floor Tech School Book Depository, okay? They'd be pointing up there, okay? So the assassins must have to use, okay? Think about this. They have to use almost the same type of rifle or the same type of ammo. And the reason why they have to want to use the same type of ammo is because of if you show there's more than one type of ammo you used, that proves that there was more than one assassin. Now, the bullet casings in the Texas School Book Depository was 6.5 bullet casings. And the bullet casing that was found on top of the rooftop of the county records building was a 6.5. Okay. So, they had to use the, the same um, bullets, okay, or same type of bullets for the rifles they used so they could show so people think there was only one assassin and not a dozen assassins there or half a dozen assassins so we could determine that as well now what i want to point out is this right here now we know the backyard image of oswald was taken there was actually three shots three images taken not just the one shot because everybody just points to the one shot and that's this image right here one image right here they shot, basically took, was one image, but there actually was three images, as you see here. Okay, Oswald developed these images and everything else. Now, what I want to point out here is we'll take the center image right here. Okay, and we're going to zoom in. Now, we know that this revolver here, now these images was taken on February 5th, 1963. Oswald did not order the car cannon rifle or his revolver until March of 1963, which is one month after these images were taken and developed. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull up that and pull up this image here. 
So we're going to have both revolvers showing at the same time. Okay, here's the uh, revolver that Oswald owned and sold to his brother for selling $10. This is the revolver right down here, which I want to bring in a little bit more so we can keep all this in view. This revolver here, okay, is one that he bought when he bought the Carcano rifle. Now let's look at the handle for a minute. We know this is a long nose revolver, not a short snub revolver as we see here because by the angle of the holster that Oswald has it in. And look at the handle on this. This handle here matches this handle here. This handle here does not match this handle on this revolver here. So the revolver that Oswald has on his hip is this revolver here, not this one here. Okay. <laughs> now it's hard to determine what rifle that Oswald's holding here. Some people says it's Carcano. Some people says it's um, this type of rifle, that type of rifle. I said it was an M1 rifle. Okay. But it's hard to determine exactly what kind of rifle it is unless we see certain markings on it. Okay. Because we can't really see. One thing we can tell that the revol uh, rifle that Oswald is holding here, okay, we see it has a short scope on it, and we see Oswald's shirt in between the scope and the rifle. Now, in the, revol uh, the rifle that they show here, which we'll pull this up here, the rifle that they got on Oswald, the Carcano rifle, okay, We can see right here, okay, it's a longer scope that's on it, which the scope should be here and way past the back section of this chamber right here, and we can see it stops right here, okay, we see the scope stops here, and it stops right here, it ain't as long as this scope here, and here we see this is a full piece of metal here which you cannot see through the metal but we can see Oswald's shirt between the scope and the rifle itself so we know this ain't the scope that's on this rifle here and there's a lot of difference between that uh, Oswald's Clark Kent rifle and that rifle there but anyway so now we know that uh, Oswald's rifle that he's holding his hand here is not the same Clark Kent rifle as uh, he bought in March. Now what I want to bring up is this. And that's why I said you want to watch this video. Keep watching it. Okay. Like I determined, it's hard to tell what kind of type of rifles that these gunmen, the assassins use. But we can give a little information from them. Like I said, some assassins had bolt action rifles. Some assassins had automatic rifles. And we know they had to use the same type of ammo, which was a 6.5. Okay. But, as I always point out in my videos, and I said think now. Think and keep in mind. I'll always point this out in my videos. Think about this. I claimed it was two rifles. You had the Oswald decoy rifle, and you had the Oswald's rifle that he used in the assassination. Now, I point out the pry bar on the windowsill and the sniper's nest. I also point out here where someone stepped in. This is where Oswald has picture took and stuff. What he did was he placed a rifle up in there that he hid. Now that would make Oswald having two rifles, two rifles in a Texas school book depository. Am I correct? We have the Carcano rifle and we have another rifle that Oswald used. <clears throat> now, like I said, excuse me, there is some truth, okay, there is some truth in the story that's told, some truth, okay, and some things makes you wonder and makes you think, okay, makes you think now, right, we know definitely they found a Carcano rifle right here, here's a Carcano rifle. Right here, this is the rifle that they recovered. This is what I call the decoy rifle. Okay, that's the Carcano rifle. And we know for a fact that it was the Carcano rifle that they recovered there because we can see it's got the same scope. 
and everything else. Now I want to point this out right here so people can understand the difference between a, a Mauser rifle because people says, you know, well, no, it was a Mauser rifle. I'm going to show you the difference between a Mauser rifle and a car counter rifle, which is plainly on all the rifles itself. But here is a Mauser rifle right here, which I'm going to zoom in right here. You see the chamber here, which let me pull up this one here too. Then I'll pull up this one here. I'll bring this one down. I'll move it over. See how this is just rounded off right here. This is the chamber where the bullets go into and stuff like that. When you slide the bullets down in there, the clip is right in this right here. See how it's rounded off. Same thing we see in the car counter rifle. But in this one here, see how it's, the style is made different. It's not rounded off. It's rounded off here, but it comes back in and it goes back up. This doesn't have that, so it should look like this. Round it off if you watch my cursor, which I'll move this over this way a little bit. Let me shrink this. So I can move this over a little bit. If this was a Mauser rifle, okay, this part here should be rounded off, come back in, and then up like this, as we see here. So we know this is the car can rifle that they found between the boxes. But, like I said, there could be some truth to the story. As I point out, there was two rifles there. You had the Oswald using the Carcano rifle as a decoy. And then Oswald had another rifle and he hid it above the box, ab above the window in that box. Now in the reports, as you see here, it says they found a 7.65 Mauser bolt action rifle. Okay. <coughs> Excuse me. All right, 7.65 Mauser. Now they're talking about two different rifles. They're talking about a Carcano rifle and they're talking about a Mauser rifle. Okay. So what's that tell us? Okay. Two different rifles. Okay. They may have found the rifles up in this box right here. They may have found this rifle in the box right up here. But then they found the other rifle. The story could change a little bit so to fit their testimonies. Okay, but when it was in this location, maybe they took that piece of wood off of there and found the Mauser rifle first. And then, as they look around some more, they found the other Carcano rifle, the decoy rifle. Oswald probably thought, you know, hey, maybe I fooled them by placing a Carcano rifle for, to, for the decoy and used a Mauser rifle to, t to do the assassination to JFK. Okay. Miles rifle also has 6.5 bullets, which is right here. We'll know that this one here. Uh, here it is right here. A Swedish made Mauser. Okay, you can get 6.5 bullets for him. Okay, he could have used these bullets right here to shoot JFK, the two shots of JFK. All right, even though they also at that point in time also made smokeless, as you see here, smokeless bullets. Okay, they made smokeless bullets for Mauser rifles as well and everything else. Okay, so you see what I'm saying now. There could have been, they could have found both rifles in the Texas School Book Depository. Okay, this is why the story changed from, went from a Mauser because in the first 24 to 48 hours, they was talking and reporting, even on the news and everything else, that they recovered a Mauser rifle, a 7.65 Mauser rifle. Then, after that, they said, oh, they made a mistake. It was a Carcano rifle that they found. Because, see, on film, they show them picking up this Carcano rifle right here, as you see here. On film, they show the Carcano rifle here that they retrieved from the Texas School Book Depository, showing one rifle. The other rifle, though, it wasn't on film or anything else. So someone could have found that rifle that Oswald used, could have been the Mauser rifle that he used. That's the one he placed in the box. Because as I pointed out, there had to have been two rifles that Oswald took in there. One was the decoy, and one was the one he used for assassinate JFK. Now, there's reporting of two rifles 
being reported in to the JFK assassination. Okay. But one's a Mauser, one's a Carcano. Okay. But the Carcano, as I point out, was never fired and was set for a left handed shooter. Okay. And we know Oswald is a right handed shooter because we could tell it's set for a left handed shooter by the scope on it because we see it's more on the left side. So he'd be aiming this way. Oh, excuse me, from this way, from the left. Okay. He'd be aiming this way. So he's on this side. His head's cocked over here. And he's looking through there with his left eye and he's shooting with his left hand. But if it was set for a right handed person, this scope would have been more on this side so he can look over on the right and then shoot. Okay. <clears throat> like I said, the scope was set for a left handed person. So this why I think, you know, they might, that's why when I point this out, they may have already gotten that rifle out of that box, okay, either by my post or they might have took it out during time of assassination. But we could clearly see by the information that's been posted and by the information that's been reported, there was actually two rifles that was found basically, you know, uh, in the Texas School Book Depository, a car cannon rifle and a Mauser rifle. Okay, so the car cannon rifle was used as a decoy. Now, they're not going to sit there and go into detail. So, well, he went ahead and put this car cannon rifle here for a decoy, and he used this rifle here. They would sit there, if they showed two different rifles, they're going to say, well, there was two assassins now in the Texas School Book Depository, one using a Mauser, one using a car cannon. Okay, then they'll have to sit there, come up with more stories and stuff, say, well, it had to be more shots fired. You know, and they had to aim directly to what location in Texas School Book Depository. You know, so it would have been easier saying, hey, we made a mistake. It wasn't the Mauser rifle we found. We just found the one rifle there, and that was a car cannon rifle. The three shots were fired. Here's the evidence and stuff like that. And it's done and over with. But to me, and like I said, in my research, I always do a lot of thinking when I do my investigations and stuff like that. And I look into things, okay? To find the truth, okay, and to find evidence to back up that truth, okay. Now, in my research, as I point out, in the Texas School Book Depository, there was two rifles. You had the decoy rifle and the rifle that Oswald used. In the reports, and as they report on news and everything else, first they found a 7.65 miles of rifle. Then they turned it over to a car cannon rifle, which we see in the films and images. It was a car cannon rifle that they retrieve there. Okay. <laughs> and like I said, there's, there, there's some similarities between a Mauser and a car can rifle, but you can actually clearly tell the difference between a Mauser rifle and a car can rifle. Just like right here, you know what I'm saying? They either have a bolt right here in this location here, which, uh, that was a Swedish made one. Uh, let's look at this one right here. Okay, there's clearly, like I said, the chamber where the bullets go into is clearly different. Okay, between a Mauser and a car counter rifle. You got this part sticking right out here. You got this and you got this right here. Okay, there's a lot of difference between both of them. And even if you spot them and just look at them up front, you can tell the difference between a Mauser rifle and a car counter rifle, which I'll point up this one right here. And then we'll point up this one right here at the same time. And you can see for yourself that you can tell the difference to even by just looking at them, the difference between a car cannon rifle and a Mauser rifle. Okay. You can tell the difference between both of them. Okay. Let me point this up here. And we'll click on this right here. You can see there's a big difference between because even a Mauser rifle is a little bit longer as well. The barrel is okay and you can see that the clips in it is totally different the scope right here is you know made for a left-handed person and it's long nose but we don't see that in the backyard image as well so see there's a lot of difference between both of these rifles especially up here and for anybody mistake this as being a mauser rifle okay it's got to be you know either halfway blind to tell the difference between both rifles so what my I'm thinking here is, yes, they did found that second rifle, 
Okay, it was a Miles rifle that Oswald used when he assassinated JFK. All right, and like I point out, the one rifle, the Car County rifle, is not but a decoy. And all these years that people have been spending doing research on this case, okay, they've been looking at the Car County rifle instead of just looking at well, let's throw the Car County rifle away because that's a decoy rifle. But they claim that there was a Mauser rifle found, okay? So there's two rifles found. So it's either between Carcano or Mauser. So let's do the test on the Carcano. If it can't be done, all right. Then we're going to do the test on the Mauser rifle, which you're going to find out you can do it with a Mauser rifle. Taking them shots and everything else. So see, I want to make this video here to let everybody know that it's hard to determine what rifles or what type of rifles that uh, these assassins used. We do know there was a bolt action rifles and we do know uh, there was an automatic rifle there and we do know that they had to use around the same kind of rifle or same ammo which was a 6.5 so they could keep it as looking at one assassin. We know that they actually in their stories they tell okay they actually found two rifles in the Texas School Book Depository not the one they know they found a Mauser rifle, six point, uh, a 7.65 Mauser rifle, then the Carcano rifle. Same thing as it does, it fits my research, because my research, I show and I talk about two rifles being used. The uh, automatically says that the Carcano rifle is a decor rifle. The, uh, the rifle Oswald used, he placed in a box above the window, which that could have been the Mauser rifle that they found. This is why... The stories was one way, and then it turned another, just like in the, the Roswell incident. First, they said, oh, there was a UFO um, crash there, and they showed metals and debris from it. But then later, two days later, they come back and says, no, it was a weather balloon, and the guy made a mistake. And they showed different pictures now of the weather balloon, okay? So they do the cover-up, the same as the Mauser rifle here. First, you got the first. That's a Miles rifle for the first 24 to 48 hours. That's a long period of time. Okay, if they made a mistake, it should have been the same exact day. That no, it was a Carcano rifle, but they claim it was a Miles rifle. But then they show in the films and images it was a Carcano rifle. So they did show two rifles, basically. They're reporting two rifles. Okay, so the one they show. In the video, in the film footage of the Dallas Police Department, does show them finding the car cannon rifle. We could determine this by the images of the car cannon rifle. But the story of the Mauser, remember, it's just told in the story, but people claim they've seen that rifle. Okay, they claim they've seen that rifle and everything else. And it was reported that rifle for 24 to first 24 to 48 hours after the assassination. So basically, it was two rifles found, not just one. The decoy rifle and the rifle that Oswald used. Don't forget to tell your friends about us. Don't forget to hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe. Share this video on your social medias, on Facebook, Twitter. Y'all have a pleasant, pleasant, pleasant day.